my god. <laughs> Helmets, valuable pieces of equipment. We get a lot of questions on our gear. Do I have a what? Shotgun. What it is that we carry, what's on our vests, what's in the police cars. Why do you guys have so many different kinds of police cars? And there are very good answers for all of those. We'll try to get to most of them right now. We have different cars to serve different functions for different officers. There's a detective car. There's another detective car. Denied. We have Tahoes. <laughs> We have Caprices. We have some old Crown Vicks. We also have some trucks that are used by the CSOs, community service officers. Our traffic guys use the motorcycles. Those are Hondas. Benton Beach. The goal for all of the vehicles is to serve many different functions. As you might have noticed, police officers come in all shapes and sizes. <laughs> you have to remember to take off the seatbelt. Such a nice day outside. Finally not raining. Clouds are starting to pull away. We got a little bit of sun. Figured we'd do this outside. So all the police officers in the Lake Oswego Police Department, pretty much nationwide, will carry different kinds of gear with them. Aside from what we wear, we've got bags full of stuff. This is my duty bag. It carries everything that I think I need. My ballistic helmet, just in case we go to a critical incident. Not very fashionable though. Code books, criminal law, traffic law, digital recorder, reinforced glove, accordion folder with lots of different paperwork inside, radar tuning forks, Work gloves, clipboard with more paperwork. On a serious note, opioid overdose kit. Actually really, really helpful. We know that uh, the opioid crisis nationwide is obviously a lot larger than we'd like it to be. And uh, so each officer is equipped with these and this is designed to bring someone out of an overdose situation. So uh, very cool that our department uh, gives us these and gives us the training for them. Boot grabbers, traffic safety vest, high bids. Binoculars, first aid kit, hand sanitizer, really important. A spit hood for angry custody that like to spit, and a tape measure. But what about the gear in the car? It's a good question. Let's take a quick look. Camera, computer, radio, cords, printer, cloth seats, donut holder. Flashlight number one, flashlight number two, troll rifle and 40 millimeter launcher, radar gun, plastic seats, a step up spotlight, Let's see what's in the back of the Sergeant Tahoe. A lot of different boxes for storage. What's in the box? We have another computer, another radio, stop sticks, shield, extra radio battery, fire extinguisher, first aid kit, different restraints, garbage bags and towel, and portable breath test. Really disorganized evidence drawer. Flares, did I mention we have a fire extinguisher? Camera, gloves, urine collection kit, crime scene tape, caution tape, roadway paint, AED, I almost forgot the high-tech light package. This isn't a comprehensive list, by the way. There's a lot of different things that we carry both in the car, on our person, and in our bags. It could be anything like these things. It's a lot of stuff. What about what you guys wear? That's also a good question. Now for the gear. And all this can certainly weigh a lot. How much? Well, it can vary from officer to officer depending on what they're carrying. 
but this is probably a good estimate. I hope this has answered some of your questions about the gear that we wear, the vehicles that we drive. We appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, let us know. Until next time, stay safe.